There's very little that's more frustrating for content creators than taking the time to create high quality content and then having to wait months sometimes for it even to get indexed, let alone ranked by Google. That's why this new method for getting your content indexed much faster seems like the perfect solution. But is it? For those who don't know what I'm talking about, let me give you the 30 second rundown of indexing. Essentially, Google and other search engines have an index of the content on the web. An index is just like what you think, it's like the index of a book, only it's huge because there's so many pages of content on the web. And before your content has the possibility of getting ranked, it has to get indexed by the search engines. But what's happening today is in some cases, content is taking months just to get indexed before it even starts getting tested by the search engines and then starts ranking. But in recent times, a new method for getting content indexed has come about and it does present a new opportunity. To be clear, I think this new method is the future of indexing. The question really is, is should we be implementing it today? This new method of indexing is called API indexing. Essentially what you're doing is creating a connection between your website and the search engine using their API integration. This allows your website to proactively send the search engine the pages that get added to your website as well as those that get updated. Whereas today what's happening is Google's bots are out spidering the web, clicking from link to link to link, going through the sitemaps that people submit for their websites and finding every piece of content and then determining whether or not it's the type of content that should get indexed. This method of crawling and then indexing the web has worked in the past but we're seeing its limitations. As that index grows and grows and grows because the web is getting more and more and more massive every single day, there seem to be limits placed upon what the bots are able to actually do. And I believe those technical limitations are one of the main reasons we're seeing newer websites go months with some or even all of their content never getting added to the index. I find these pages all the time on our own websites. Here's a website that is often having articles rank very, very, very quickly. But still, we have articles like this one that are crawled but not added to the index yet. I can go ahead and request indexing, and that can work. However, just clicking that button is no guarantee that your content will get indexed. By the way, I should add, your content getting indexed is also no guarantee of it ranking. That's gonna depend on the content itself, um, how well it fits existing search queries, and how well it answers those search queries. But back to the matter at hand, the point is, that crawling the web is becoming less and less and less sustainable for search engines to do. And that's why API indexing is such a better way. When these websites proactively let Google know when they add new content and when that content gets updated, Google will no longer have to crawl the web to identify those changes. This will dramatically reduce sort of the technical load that is being placed today on search engines like Google. And it could end up leading to a better experience where we don't have as much spam content being added to the index. So all that said, API indexing is a better approach. And today we're seeing sites that are using API indexing, getting content in the index and often ranked almost immediately. So what's the catch? Well, let's dive into that next. First of all, with Bing, the search engine, there is no catch. Bing has API indexing, it's fully open, you can use it. The easiest way I think you can set this up would be through Rank Math. Rank Math is an SEO plugin. I'm not a strong advocate for SEO plugins in general, but of all the ones out there, I like Rank Math the best. For example, I love how they handle schema. Uh, there, there are numerous things I like about the way Rank Math does it. And so, for the websites that I have that aren't on Akabato, which has basic SEO functionality, the stuff I think you really need built into it, I use Rank Math. And Rank Math has Bing API integration just built right into it now. So what you can do is you can connect your site to Bing, and what they're showing you here is how they were able to write a new piece of content, request the indexing, or rather push it through the API, and how essentially it was immediately added to the index and very, very quickly ranked. The benefit of doing this today, by the way, is that you can more quickly get your content indexed versus your competition who may not be using this feature. So this article, which I'll link to here in the description, will walk you through exactly how to install and set up Rank Math as well as the API integration with Bing. And essentially, you can get your content to rank on Bing right away. But here's the deal. When I look at the organic traffic on my websites, Bing makes up a very small percentage of that traffic. Most of it is still coming through Google. 
So now we need to look at what Google has to say about this. And this is where there's a catch. Keeping up with everything Google and other search engines are doing, as well as all the best practices for content creation and site monetization is a big job. But it's a job that I'm dedicated to doing. And so if this video has been helpful to you, I hope that you will like the video so it can spread to more people. And uh, now let's get back to the content. Google has set up API indexing and they have some information here about it. It's a very short article and I'll go ahead and link to that as well. But they have this giant caveat right now. It says currently the indexing API can only be used to crawl pages with either job posting or broadcast event embedded in a video object. What that means is it needs job posting structured data, essentially alerting the search engine that this page is a job posting or it needs to have like a live, like a live video, um, a YouTube live or something like that uh, embedded onto the page. The reason for that is pages like this don't stay on the web very long. And so they need to get indexed quickly. Otherwise, there's no value to the search engine in ever indexing or ranking them. That being said, Google tells us what we can do with this API indexing. We can update a URL. So essentially we can alert Google every time we make a change. We can remove a URL. If there's a page that we don't want indexed on our website, we don't have to just update it in the robots.txt file and wait for Google to crawl it again to remove it from its index. We can proactively let them know. We can check the status of an indexing request and we can send big batches of indexing requests. It's pretty awesome. But that is a huge caveat. Most of the content you and I are looking to rank isn't job postings. It's not live video streams. It is actual informational content that's gonna live on the web for a long time. So what's the deal here? Is Google really not allowing content without this specific structured data from using the API tool? Well, no, actually. <laughs> what's happening is that Google is allowing other pages to use this. Allowing meaning it works. It can be done on other content on the web. The question is, should it be done? Rank Math has this other article, which I will also link to in the description, that walks you through the test that they did <laughs> using Google's API to get crawled in under a minute. It's pretty amazing. It's actually a separate plugin, but it's created by Rank Math that they use to also connect your website to Google's API so that you can push that content to Google immediately. Again, whether or not it's a job posting or a live stream. But look at this. They've got this huge notice right here. They put in kind of a reddish colored box. It says, it says Google recommends that you use indexing API only for job posting. That's not quite the way I'd put it. It says here that it can only be used. That kind of implies a technical limitation. That's not quite true either. So it's somewhere in between. Is Google just recommending that we don't use it yet? Or is Google really just wanting us to not use it yet because they're not ready for large amounts of content being pushed through the API. So then what they're telling us is if you're not sure whether or not you should be using this, probably don't. And honestly, I would give the same recommendation. But in case you want to give it a try, you have to do it at your own risk. Here is all of the information about how to set it up. So again, I will link to Rank Math's uh, tutorial here in the description of this video. So if you want to try it, you can. Here is my recommendation. First of all, I do believe this is the future of indexing. I believe it won't be very long before Google opens this up and says, yep, go ahead. I think that at this point, they're still kind of developing that out a little bit. And because of that, they don't want every website on the internet pushing through the API. But it only makes sense that over time, this would become their preferred method of indexing the web. So my recommendation is twofold. One, I would set this up for Bing. Go ahead and install Rank Math on your website. Um, and set up the Bing API. Even if in the long run, Bing's gonna drive a small percentage of the traffic to your website, it is going to allow you to get your content ranked on Bing even faster and get that early traffic. It's also gonna be a great opportunity for you to learn and understand how this sort of API indexing works and how you're gonna be able to use it in the future. Because again, I do believe it is the future. Recommendation number two is to use Google's API indexing for the purpose that they gave it. If you have job postings and you use that sort of markup on your website, go ahead and use it. For the rest of us, I would caution you. There have been many times in the past that Google has said, this isn't what we want, don't do this. And people have gone ahead and done it anyway because it had an SEO benefit at the time. But in many cases, Google has penalized sites for doing that, either through a manual penalty 
or algorithmically. And if Google starts having their resources overrun because too many people are using this tool prematurely, I could see them imposing through technology that restriction, basically preventing you from using the tool if you don't use that sort of markup on those pages. But also I could see them algorithmically penalizing those websites that are abusing the tool before Google's ready for it. However, I would recommend that you keep an eye on this topic. I will continue to talk about it as we get more information. And as soon as Google starts to open this up wider and wider and wider, I would absolutely take advantage of it. So that being said, it might not be a bad idea to go through and start setting this up so that you're prepared once Google opens it up to the type of content that you create. And now I invite you to actually go watch this video where I'm gonna to talk to you about the reasons why Google isn't indexing some content and how to ensure that your content stands the best chance of being indexed naturally today. But even if you were using the API indexing tool, how to help ensure that your content is going to rank after it's been indexed. Go check it out and we'll see you all next time.